What's up, guys? It's Levi. Spin shooting press here. <laughs> guys, it's Levi. It's your boy Spin shooting press. Happy belated Mother's Day. Hope you all enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Spin Shooting Press, Adore Brandon. Hope you guys are having a fan. Fantastic day. You know what really pisses me off? And I feel like I start my videos with the same saying. You know what really pisses me off? You know what really tickles my timber? Do you really want to know what really grinds my gears? Why in the fuck is Pomage so good? He makes me so mad. I mean, really, it's not just him. He's just fucking amazing, but there's other people that are just insane as well. But for some reason, Pomage always just comes to my head whenever I think of people that just are consistently amazing. I remember watching a commentary by him saying that he hits seven clips in a day. And no, not just any clips, you know, quantity feeds like that's in this video mm -hmm. but, you know but, like usable clips that he can actually use in a montage like that makes me so mad he's never gonna watch this video not in a million years but dude if you're ever watching this video i'm sure all of your girlfriends are so happy with your hand skill i mean seriously think about it if he's good with a trigger finger on a controller imagine what he can do with a girl back when he was in face he released like 15 different episodes in a month in his video where he said that he was leaving face he said that he had a couple episodes in the phase dropbox at once and i just want to know how in the hell am I gonna get that good? Do I need to take some certain drugs? Do I need to sell my soul to the devil? Tell me what and I will make it happen. Mr. Pajama Man, if you're ever watching this video, you need to give me some lessons. I will drive my ass all the way to Canada just so I can get some quick scoping lessons. It's either that or you should just let me fucking borrow your hands. I mean, either way it works. It's just whatever's easier for you, I guess. I actually can't believe how nerdy I am. It's actually ridiculous. I'm literally talking about cutting off somebody's hands just so I can be better at Call of Duty. Like, I'm that pathetic. I love you, Pomosh. This is what I do all day during school. Whenever I'm just sitting there not doing anything because it's senior year and teachers just don't give a fuck at this point. So while I'm in school, I'm sitting here thinking about topics and I'm just like, oh, I really wish I was good at Call of Duty. How can I make that happen? Cutting off Pomage's hands. Let's go. Oh, by the way, guys, today is my birthday. Actually, today I'm technically talking the day before because I record my videos the day before. I turned 18 today and yeah, I still haven't changed from when I was a freshman. It's honestly the weirdest feeling growing up. Like, I'm gonna be 18. Like, I'm legally an adult. And I'm graduating high school. Like, to me, that's such a foreign thought to me. Because you always kind of think to yourself, yeah, it's gonna take forever ever for me to grow up. It's gonna take forever for me to graduate high school. I'm not gonna have to worry about all these real life bullshit. And, uh, now I'm here and it, it just doesn't feel real. It's actually so weird. I'm probably not gonna even do anything that special for my birthday, though, even though it's, like, a big deal since I'm turning 18. I'll probably just be making a fucking video and then going to sleep. I know for a fact that I'm gonna be getting money for my new gaming PC that I'm going to build this summer with my dad. So if you guys are any PC Master Race fans, then you guys will be so excited because I'm gonna be start playing PC games. Whenever Phase 5's over, I'm gonna be kind of getting bored of Call of Duty since I'll be grinding it for two weeks straight, something like that. Instead of double uploading just Call of Duty, I'm gonna be double uploading Call of Duty. I really wanna play some horror games because honestly, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. I played Slender a long time ago on my channel and uh, yeah, I couldn't even finish that just because I was so scared. I'm actually gonna force myself to play through a lot of these horror games and uh, yeah, expect a lot of screaming because like I said, I'm, I'm a bitch. My neck, my back. Mom pussy and my crap. Literally when I'm sitting here trying to think of something to say or like get on to a new topic, I literally just sit here and sing to myself and like look on Twitter. One thing I don't understand about this world and the human body is why in the hell is the nutsack on the outside of our body? Because at this point it is a weakness, a weakness against men. Like I don't know if we can just evolve for our ball sacks to go inside of our body, but it'd be perfect. That way our balls can't get too cold and we can't get too warm. Because if you guys weren't aware, like you know, your balls kind of like sink in if it's too cold and if it gets too hot, it sags down. So it's gonna be perfect body temperature all of the time, so I don't understand this. If you're not a guy, you'll never understand the struggle of, like, walking to a couch and, like, sitting down and flopping down and landing on your balls. Yeah, it's 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 the worst feeling of ever. Let me describe it to you. It feels like it doesn't hurt that much at first, and then you just feel like you're gonna puke. And then it's just a constant, like, pressure on your nutsack. Humans, as a species, need to evolve so our nutsacks are inside of our body. Plus, balls are just so ugly. They're just, like, little hanging sacks there. Not one girl is gonna be like, ooh, look at those balls. I mean, if she does, then, like, you know, I, 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 she's fucking lying. There will be so many upsides to this. Like, you can seriously, like, manscape a lot easier. We'll get laid more often, and that way we can reproduce faster. There you go. That's our reason to evolutionize. Is that a, is that a word? I don't know. Not only that, it won't be a weakness. It won't be a punching bag for every, you know, girl that just wants to kick you in the nuts. And we won't sit on our balls. It won't stick to our leg. And, yeah, that's just been fucking perfect. We should send a petition to the White House to get our balls internalized. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about this whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank my friend Levi for, you know, doing that video. 
video on the bus for me. And if you enjoy the video, <laughs> that's what I do when I mess up on my outros. Just make random sounds after I mess up. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, then you should just probably punch yourself right in the face. But if you're one of those people that gives me constructive criticism, I appreciate it very much. I'm always working to improve, and it just shows that you're a pretty cool guy. The secret phrase of the day is third ball. So think of something very creative to say down in the comments involving the words third ball. And I'll comment which one I think is the funniest. Actually, if you guys are creative enough, in the next video that I will do, I will screenshot the comment that makes me laugh the most, and I will read it out loud at the very end of my next video. Kind of like a Ray William Johnson comment question of the day type deal. Blah, 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 blah. It's been your boy, Spin Shoot Press, Anal Brandon. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I'm out, guys. Peace.